So I want to permanently sticker my car, uh, mainly because I can't run magnetics because it's a fiberglass car. And two, uh, I got tired of this, uh, it's supposed to be reusable vinyl. It worked good for the first two races. I tried really hard to keep it clean, but it just kept coming off. So I started putting blue tape around it. It doesn't look good. Um, I, this car is just for racing, so um, I don't really uh, need to be able to take them off. So I ordered some permanent uh, stickers from uh, vinyl from uh, spinnywoosh.com. Um, I'll link them down below. Uh, so I got the two, a, two, a double set of eight inch tall letters and then my class, the AS class, uh, as well as this little uh, thing with my YouTube channel thing on it. Um, these were $50 for these two, uh, no, $56 for these two, so $5 something shipping. Uh, it did take like two and a half weeks to get here, and uh, no, it was more than two and a half weeks, so like three or four weeks. Uh, they said there'd be like a week or two delay, and I emailed, didn't get a response, so I don't know. Not the best experience. Uh, they seem pretty good quality. I'll find out more and actually get them on there, but they didn't seem like the best quality or the best uh, the best customer service because it kind of seemed like I didn't know what was going on with my order. Anyway, I'm gonna take this off and uh, put these on. I was trying to figure out where I want them exactly. So I think I'm just gonna put this here and use this line as my default. Now to make sure and prep this, uh, I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, alcohol uh, diluted in water to clean off any wax that I might have on here and if you actually cared about your paint don't go rubbing the paint don't put these things on here because it will scratch your car uh, to me this is just a race car it's got the standard standard uh, GM paint which isn't the best anyway so I'm not worried about scratching it a little bit um, but you know if you really care about your car don't go putting tape on it and don't go uh, washing it Anyway, time for me to get to work. I've got these squeegees for tinting windows. So I'm going to use those to help me uh, put the letters on. Not letters, numbers. First side's on, it's looking pretty good. I can't remember what colors these are. It's, um, say, the outside sparkly green, and it just says individual vinyl. It doesn't say what color the green is. But anyway, that's what sparkly green looks like. Um, see what happens. Not look like a bejeweled car, but oh well. There's a couple of little spots in here where there's a little bubbles. But it almost seems like the bubbles are between the, this is basically two layers of vinyl. This um, sparkly is one entire layer, layer, and then this green, the darker green, is uh, on top of the other layer. So it looks like these bubbles are between the, the top layer and the bottom and not actually to the car. So that's really there. I'm going to go through and take some wax go around this with some synthetic wax to try to keep it looking good. Anyway, time to do the inside. So that's the install of the spinny whoosh uh, decals, the eight inch tall uh, three digit numbers and my class as well on my uh, C5 vet. So my next race is next weekend. 
So we'll see how that goes. And uh, maybe I'll put some pictures of this thing in the sun um, out on the track once, uh, once we get there. We're looking forward to, on the next part of my channel, installing these guys, my tow hooks, which are also green, obviously, I like green. So anyway, time for me to uh, get back to work. See you.